Today, I would like for you to learn how to feel comfortable when people look at you. Now, there is a number of factors that goes into what is that complete visual that people see. Now, sometimes we do have to put on pieces that we may feel uncomfortable with, whether it's a tie, whether it's a necklace, whether it's glasses, a hat, whatever it may be, sometimes it may not feel comfortable. But remember, whatever it is that you are putting on on the outside is simply going to enhance what is coming in from the inside. So there is a whole process that is being brought forth into your consciousness. Now, we've been in a time of bringing awareness to many things that we've taken for granted. How you sit, what we're saying, and the content of the environment is certainly going to be an influence as to what people are are seeing. So don't spend so much time in trying to be completely familiar. A quick inventory of what is the surrounding. And even if it is the piece that you're wearing is uncomfortable, it's helping bring in a complete composition for what the outside is seeing. Now you chose it. Now remember, it all comes back to you. You determine what it is that you want to bring forth to those that are looking at you. Now these are the times that we do have to bring ourselves out of our comfort zone. As much as we like the security and the comfort, we're going to have to learn how to be positive with all that we come into interaction with. There are colors that you may not like, but I urge you to be able to put on pieces that have variation. I see so many of us come into such an obsession with a color, with a style, and we tend to wear that all the time. Now, when we do that, we seem to set a precedence for all those that come into connection with us. Whether their attitude or their response is same old, same old, I'm bored. You need to be able to inspire with those that you come into connection with. It is difficult when things are not as you would expect. So in situations that may be of questionable surroundings, you still are a part of that composition. So you're going to have to contribute as positively as you can. And learning how to do so in ways that make you feel that there are the true you that is being shared to those that are around. How best can we convey that thought? How best can we bring in a complete composition that will affect those that are around? But remember, the, the whole point is not to do it for those that are around you, do it for yourself. How best can you be the, the instrument in which this great spirit, the creator, has made? And therefore, you're going to bring forth the enhancements. You're going to bring forth the improvements, the honing that is necessary. It all is seen by those that are around. So how it is that you put forth has to be something that you are comfortable with. And we've said one of the things that is taboo 
in the journey of individuals is making the attempt to copy. We, we support the idea of observation. Look at things that you see that you would like to be and allow for that to be brought in through you and then you bring it forth in a way that's going to have that signature that is you. How you sit, how you talk, how you walk, all of that, it is difficult. But when you become confident with self, you would be amazed that the beauty that is within you comes forth in such a beautiful way. Now, that confidence, you've got to remember, is double-edged. Many times, if you bring too much confidence, that could go into the arena of arrogance. So you're going to have to learn how to balance. And that has always been the key to the survival of all, is that we've got to understand what is the evolution at that point and bring in the balance that's going to allow for you to be not only a positive contributor to that moment of life and walk, but also to bring the affirmation and validation for you so that you can continue to be a instrument of goodness, an instrument that is going to allow for spirit to speak through you. So many subjects, so many words that are brought forth and times now are bringing in the challenges that we are going to have to act and react in different ways. It comes back down to the human essence is always going to have a reaction. But make sure that that reaction is going to be something that is going to bring forth a positive essence into what seems to be the situation. As much as we love family, as much as we love our intimates and those that are around, we're not going to necessarily agree with everything that happens or evolves. So we have to be able to learn how to work with that and allow for ourselves to be a positive being in that moment, in that situation. Let yourself have that assurance. Let yourself have that affirmation, that confirmation that you are doing things in the right way. One of the keys to allowing for that to be a strong attribute in life is to simply be in gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I woke up this morning. I thank you because I see that life is still there. I see that the surrounding and the environment is still there, though it may be raining, snowing, windy, whatever it may be, it is still there. So we have to bring in the, the gratitude that without that, we really would not have the, the stage in which to walk in the way that is good. Listen to self, that is always key but always be in a place of desiring to bring in a betterment of self. When betterment of self is there, then you are automatically a positive contributor into society. And we have to learn that when we speak, we speak with, with complete knowing that what you're saying is from a true heart, felt place so that that can be taken and brought in as a, an affirmation for those that are around you. You help support those that are around. You help them grow as well as they help you grow. So be in a grateful place and be thankful for all that is around you. I share with you and I want for you to be in that best place and do look upon everything even if it may be negative it's something that's going to reinforce you strengthen you so that you can be a better global citizen and a better child of spirit with this i honor you i want for you to have a great day and walk in the way that is good Mah.